It's Monday, January 7th, 2008, and this is the News on Cracked. I'm Lex Friedman, and I'm tracked in an echo chamber. Sears faces widespread criticism after privacy groups revealed that Sears.com places spyware on its customers' computers to monitor their activities without clearly disclosing its actions. We here at the News on Cracked would never do such a th Hey! Hey, James! Yeah, I'm talking to you, James. Listen, focus on me for a minute. You can go look at your porn and order, what is that, Super Mario Galaxy from Amazon after you finish watching the news, all right? All right. A new health survey found that the majority of parents of overweight children don't see their children as overweight. The survey found that nearly 67% of the parents surveyed consider their children husky, 20% consider their kids extremely overweight, 11% consider them so fat that when God said, let there be light, he had to tell them to, quote, move their fat ass the hell out the way, and the remaining 2% could not be surveyed because their children had already eaten them. That's tough break for science. The New Hampshire primaries are tomorrow. Will Huckabee and or Obama grab more momentum, or will Romney or Clinton take back the spotlight? Let's take a look at the polls. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Our surveys indicate that that is a terrible, terrible joke. Truly atrocious. We've gotten some pushback that folks in the audience aren't huge fans of iPhone etiquette tips from iJustine. So we fired iJustine. In her place, we've now hired Justine with this in-depth look at coffee. Coffee was invented in 1809 by former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. He wanted to call the newly discovered beverage Annan juice, but it was his first name that gave the drink its actual name. Coffee is made by squeezing beans really, really hard while you pour water over them. Starbucks is the only authorized manufacturer of coffee on the planet. Also, coffee can help cure acne. Back to you, Lex. Thanks, Justine. I really learned a lot that time, and I love learning. That's it for today's edition of the News on Cracked. Check back tomorrow when you'll notice that we're now doing the show just three days a week, since you just watched this episode a second time.